Hey, hey we're, we're Screaming, screaming females. females, and you're watching Mosh Cam. You know, actually, I've, I've been dreading it because I don't like to fly. So yeah. I, I honestly never wanted to come, but now we're here, and I can't wait to come back. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A couple of the songs have uh, developed some lengthy improvisational passages. But some songs have pretty much just been set in stone, I guess, in our minds. But who knows what the future might hold. Yeah, I mean, before we recorded Rose Mountain, we had already had the album like written for the most part for quite a long while. Um, and had demoed most of the songs and stuff. So we played almost all of them live on a, like some national tours and smaller tours and stuff like that. It's nice to be able to play it in front of people under a little bit of pressure instead of just like with no pressure at band practice. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of learn the, the right tempos and things for like how certain sections are going to feel, if they're going to have like a, a really straight ahead feel or if they're going to swing or something by playing them live they start to feel more natural. Maybe not so much in the songwriting process, but I do think it's important for us to play them out before we record them, just so that we're not wasting time in the studio, like, not getting it right. <laughs> also, because sometimes people will tell us that the song's bad. That's true, too. <laughs> well, they don't listen to anything that I sing, so... I just... <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> Mike sings along every I know, night. well, Mike knows the words. Um, I don't know any of the words. <laughs> I, I usually like change the lyrics up until probably we're, we're recording, but like they'll, it'll it'll continue to like develop and evolve as time goes on, and I start like this sounds so douchey <laughs> that as I conceptualize <laughs> as I conceptualize the song, what it's about. <laughs> More recently, I've become like more concerned with having like lyrical cohesion and making sure that like I'm not just singing about myself constantly and my life experiences and kind of trying to uh, uh, embrace like more universal concepts, uh, what it's like to be a human being on planet Earth. Yeah. We tried to. We did a couple. Uh, we played one we song. Played one. We played one song that we've never played before, and it, it kind of fell yeah, apart. Yeah, we did it. Bad. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, but it was, it was okay. good that we did it. Yeah, I like when things fall apart. I like mm -hmm. to shake things up a bit. <laughs> yeah, we have like a handful of new songs. We played a. Uh, we played like two or three of them on this trip. Um, but since we've never been here, I'm sure a lot of people didn't realize that they were new. Like, oh, that might be from the first album in 2006. You know? Better pick that up. I like playing anywhere as long as it feels like a venue that um, kind of appreciates music, and that can be a wide variety of things. But the worst places to play are places you walk in and they seem like they're mad at you from the get go. <laughs> bass in particular, I, I started playing after I'd seen Marissa play the guitar, and I figured if I want to play with her, I might as well play the bass. <laughs> I, uh, my family is very musical, my mom and dad both play a bunch of instruments, so around the time I was nine, I still hadn't picked up an instrument, and they were, they thought I was like never going to play something, because to them that was like, you know, been alive almost like a decade and you haven't figured out what you're doing. But then I decided that I could play drums because neither of them knew too much about it. So uh, it was kind of like my way of getting out of them being able to uh, critique my practicing. <laughs> my dad had a guitar at home and he just taught me like a few chords when I was like 14 or something. And then he left me alone for the next 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would probably just want to make noise. Yeah, I think I start breaking things. Yeah. And frustration. That's like a song. Like a song of Keith Cup. <laughs> <laughs>